Hey guys, Super Cool Dave here. I'm playing the Human Resource Machine. This is Year 32, and I'll be showing you how to get both the size and the speed challenges completed. In this one, the challenges are use 16 or fewer commands and complete in 393 or fewer steps. What's required in this one is we're going to grab a letter from the inbox, in this case a B, count how many there are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we're going to output the number 5. We're going to do this for every letter. So we're just going to set ourselves up a little bit to make things easier. So in this first box, what we're going to do is keep track of how many of the letters we found, so how many Bs we found. So I'm just going to put a number. In this one here, we're going to keep track of what cell we are. So there's from 0 all the way to 14. So I'm just going to put 0 to 14 to make sure I've got the right cell. In this one here, we're just going to keep a copy of the letter so we know where we're working from. So A to Z, like so. Now that should make things a lot easier. What we're going to do is copy this 0 and we're going to put it into this cell and this cell because we want both of these to start off with position 0. We are then going to go to the inbox and we're going to write this down into our letter cell. Now we've done all that we're going to start comparing. So we're going to copy from the position that this one tells us to which will be 0 straight off the mark and we're going to subtract it from this one. So if this is a B, so B minus B, there's a difference of 0, so the answer is going to be 0. If it's a 0, we want to jump up like so, and we are going to add 1 to this one. We are also going to have to add 1 to this one, because we want to now check position 1, which is the second letter. Now, we don't want to do that for every single letter, uh, adding one to here. So we also need to put a jump command in after the zero check and we're going to tell it to go here. So if it's anything other than a zero, it's just going to only bump up this number and then check the next letter. Now at some point it's going to hit here where it's a 14. So if any point we copy from where this tells us to and it's a zero just here, we know we've got the final answer. So we need to then copy from here. So we're going to get the total that we're up to. We are going to outbox it. And then we use the jump command and go all the way back up to the top. Now, because we added these bumps in, we need to actually jump them on the very first run. So after we've gone to the inbox and written down the letter, we need to put a jump in and skip the bumps. Now I'm going to hit play and everything should work. So we're going to grab the zero, we're going to put it in these two first boxes, we're going to grab a B, we're going to write it down and now we need to start comparing. So we're going to grab a B, B take B is a zero, so we're going to bump that up so we found a B and we're going to look at the next number. We're going to compare the A and the B, the number's different, so we're not going to say we found one, we're just going to bump up this one here. And this is going to continue all the way along until we hit the zero. So I'm actually going to speed it up just a smidge so you can still see what's going on. So we've actually found two Bs. We're about to find the third B, like so. A is not, X is not, C obviously isn't. This B is, so we bumped it up again. The A isn't, but this B is. So now we're going to find the zero. So we're going to grab the five and we're going to output five. We're now going to reset the track and grab the A and start the whole process again. So we're going to compare against the B. It is not the same. Grab one and now we're going to do the whole thing again. The A is obviously going to be the same. So we're going to bump that to one, check the letter two and keep going. I'm going to speed this right up because it's actually going to take quite some time. There is a lot of moves in this because it has to check every single letter multiple times. So. I'm just going to speed up even more. So we obviously found four. X, one, two, three. So it should only output three. So it just found the third one. It's just checking the rest. And we are done. Now we're looking for the letter C. There's one here. And there's one here. So there's only two. So it should output a two. Just found the second one. 
and we're good to go. Now we just got to wait for the clipboard to come up. Here we are for the size challenge, 16 out of 16, and for the speed challenge, 200, uh, 383 out of 393. So we've passed them both runs. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful, and thank you for watching. Hey, where's Carol? <gasps> oh my god. This coffee is amazing. <laughs> Back to work, lady. <laughs>